Lurtec started in a garage. There was two of us building circuit boards and little tabletop pick and place machines. Ended up taking over a 1200 square foot unit, hired a couple more people, got a real pick and place machine. From there we took over another unit, another unit, ended up with about 25,000 square feet spread across three buildings. And in the last year moved into this new building we're in now which we've got 77,000 square feet. We're growing like crazy. Laratex is very, a very engineering focus. We have a minimum order quantity of one. As long as you want one or something, we'll build it. We excel at getting products to market fast. Our main products are medical devices. That's our, our biggest core. Uh, we recently got our AS9100 certification, so we've done a lot more aerospace, military type work. But we also do consumer electronics like RV, RV circuit boards, guitar pedals. We're good at launching products and filling the gap between prototype to volumes that make sense to take overseas. Technical challenges have definitely been increasing over the years. The size of the apertures we have to screen print uh, are getting smaller every single day. Um, that's where the Ko Young S solder paste inspection machines really, really come into play. So everybody knows the screen printing is really the core of your quality. If you don't get that right, nothing else matters. Started with SPI, uh, we got our first Ko Young SPI. Uh, we have a, a large board, it's got about 4,000 parts on it, 50 different BGAs, and we saw our yields increase overnight once we put the SPI in. We put it on a line and we put it up against one of our most difficult boards to build. The on-site evaluation for the initial SBI machine was great. Uh, Ko Young actually shipped a demo machine to our facility that we used for 90 days. Uh, at the end of the 90 days, I would not let the machine leave. I couldn't live without it anymore. I would say without it, we probably wouldn't even still be running that board for that customer. Looked at several different SBI vendors and Ko Young was by far the best. The, the most interesting test I did was I took a board with no solder paste whatsoever and sent it, sent it through the SPI machines. You'd be surprised, there, some of the machines would pass 50% of the board with no solder paste on there whatsoever. Ko Young caught 100% of them. Because of the yield that we saw coming out of our lines after that, uh, the lack of insufficient solder paste that we were seeing, bridging, troubleshooting some voiding issues, we were able to just step up our yield so much that it made sense to put it on both of our main lines. Uh, immediately buy a, bought a second ISPI for that, for the second line. If we were getting 20% of them where we were actually correct on what we had, we were upwards of 80. It was a big jump. It was big enough for us to really be on board with what we were seeing. Um, I did another evaluation with the AOI, having already been familiar with the Ko Young. It was uh, an easier decision because the software platform is similar and we already knew how to use it. But the, the AOI also outperformed the competitors we looked at. After we implemented the AOI end of it, the feedback that we got back from that was just on the spot and it was so much better than anything we'd ever seen because of uh, the 3D effect of it. So now we're seeing differences in coplanarity and there were things that we could implement like FOD checks. So if there were parts that were kind of thrown about where they weren't supposed to be, um, we were able to find that. And then we could locate a bad feeder or anything that was happening down the line where before it's just kind of a, it's kind of throwing caution to the wind almost. Our old AOI equipment, we got a lot of escapes and a lot of false calls ton of false calls and that, that went away with the Ko Young AOI. As far as its identification of false calls and things like that, it does real well. As long as you set it up the way that you are supposed to and as soon as you get that spot on, it runs like a dream. Having the SPI in the beginning of the line and the AOI at the end of it, we have a closed loop, right? So nothing is really getting out. Uh, as soon as we feed a board out of the oven directly into AOI, we know exactly what's going on, what we can improve on before we get into the actual production of the board. So you're just, you're getting rid of all the issues in the beginning of the run, as opposed to figuring out what they were at the end of the run and then tweaking it to the next run. The K-Smart's great. I can go in and look, find any data I want without having to go disturb the machines. I can look at it all offline while the machines are still running. What it does is it, it makes your printer smarter, but it makes your operator smarter. We're running a lot smaller components these days. Things are shrinking, you know, technology is 
growing, but in that things shrink. So uh, to the naked eye, you're not going to be able to know how much solder paste you have on, whether it's going to be enough or too little, or if it's going to bridge, or all of these different little facets that go along with it. Um, but to be honest with you, we couldn't live without either. We have to have both. The installation was a day. Training was a couple days. It was, it was very simple. Service and support is great. Uh, if we ever run into an issue, pick up the phone. There's always somebody on the other end. Uh, there's often times where we'll need software support or something for the, the Co-Youngs where they will log in after hours into our machine and remote in as to not disturb our production flow. They update the soft software before I know it needs to be updated, and they're really open to suggestions as far as, oh, it'd be nice if the machine would do this, and in the next software update, there it is. Kel Young's been great. I have no complaints about their service. Their machines are rock solid. Shutting everything down at night and then coming in the next morning and turning everything back on, you know that everything is going to be in place and everything's just ready to go. We definitely feel like Kel Young is a partner, not just a vendor.